when I was in college, um, I had this friend named Arnold. And uh, Arnold was this really great guy. He was like my best friend. And, uh, and he was smart and he was like liberal. He was progressive, you know, and, and open-minded and just, you know, a brilliant guy. But he had this one weird character defect, which was that he was racist against Asians. And, you know, I was like, Arnold, how could you be racist against a whole people? And he was like, well, I knew this, I knew this Asian guy who was like really uptight. And I was like, yeah, but that's one guy. He's like, no, but not just him. Other, other ones too. Like I've, a lot of them, you know, I've noticed they're really uptight and I just don't like them. And I was like, Arnold, that's crazy. You know, there are all these great Asian people. He's like, something about them is just really uptight. You know, I just like, like okay, well, you know, you're crazy, but whatever. And then, you know, I, I used to go to the library every day to study and there was this um, security guard there who was Asian and he would check IDs. And whenever I'd give him my ID, he would like look at my ID, then he'd look at me like really suspiciously, and then he'd look at my ID, then he'd look at me really suspiciously again, and he'd look at my ID again, and he would do this for like a whole minute, and then he'd give it to me. And the first few times I just thought it was kind of weird, but after a while I got really tired of it, and sometimes I'd be in a hurry, and you know, he'd be like checking my ID like forever, and I would go there every single day, and like, I, he had to remember me. And I just thought, why are you doing this? And so once he was doing it, and I just took my ID, and I was just like, here, look, you want to see my ID? Here, look! And I like held it right up in front of his face. And then, and then I took it away from him, and he's like, gimme, give gimme! Give and I was like, you saw it already, look, look! And he's, gimme! And then I like ran past him. And then he like ran after me, and like I hid, and then like, you know, he couldn't find me, and then like, you know, I, I was actually able to find a place to study, but then when I was leaving, I had to like go past him again. And I, I tried to like sneak by him, but he like saw me and he's like, hey, you! And then I, like he runs after me and I'm running down the hall and down the stairs and he, and he grabs me and he's like shaking me and he's like, give me ID, give me ID! And I was like, okay, okay. And I gave him my ID and he looks at it and he looks at me and he looks at the ID and he looks at me. And then finally he like gives it back to me. And he's like, next time you give me ID! I was like, okay, okay, I'm sorry. And then, you know, he finally let me go and I, and I left and I was just really shaken, you know, and I was kind of scared of this guy. And I remember thinking, you know, Arnold's right. Asians really are uptight. And then I realized, you know, that's how it works. You know, that's how racism works. Someone plants a seed in your head and then you have this bad experience that kind of confirms the stereotype. And then unconsciously you just start kind of buying into it. And, you know, I kind of snapped out of it after a moment, but I realized, and it was kind of scary, like, for that one minute, I was a racist.